Here is a very nice example by Logley et al. published in 2019. They started analyzing tooth enamel from different archaeological layers in South Italy from 33,000 years all the way to 18,000 years ago. And they established the background signature by analyzing the strontium isotopes in small mammals like rodents and plants, which are the best choices if you want to establish your background signature. And also they did some analysis on large mammals like horse. And they established this local range for the strontium. Then they went ahead and they start analyzing tooth enamel from different archaeological layers. And they noticed that for most of the time, moving from early Gravetian to final Gravetian, most of the people, they are from the same region and they live in, at the same region. They don't migrate or they don't receive any visitors. But at some point, moving to Epigravetians, there are new arrivals in the region because they are showing totally different strontium signatures. So this is a very common practice and in archeology span and people are using this technique to be able to understand the mobility of the people and also the mobility of the animals, the behavior of the pasteurism in the region. Here's another example in Balkan. Uh, the time frame starts from uh, 9,400 years ago all the way to 5,500 years. So they established the background values for the strontium and then they analyzed different human remains. And in most of the, the majority of the samples, they are showing the local signature. However, sometimes around 6,400 years ago, they start seeing the emergence of new arrivals in the region. And technically, by utilizing the strontium isotopic ratio, they would be able to argue the time of the migration of newcomers in, in the region. 